Hey there and welcome, my name is Carlos Berlis and let's start talking about what's been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here, unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliate links so that they can benefit me without costing you anything extra. And all the links, they will be in the description together with some timestamps so that you can jump to the point of your preference. This week, we start talking about Silent Chasm by Lucas Brolin the first submission for RPG Latam Jam 2022. We mentioned RPG Latam Jam on the last episode, but RPG Latam is the Latin American tabletop RPG scene. And this product, it's a monster tool for solar blades and cosmic spells. This leaflet format brings an entity that was found and now needs to be dealt with. You may try to overcome it. You may try to make an alliance with it or even a pact. Who knows? Whatever works best for you. It provides a random table for you to determine its special ability and also what was the answer that was sought of and what is the price to be paid. Because after all, everyone that gets to see these entities has a need of some knowledge that only one that has always existed may answer. And usually there is a price to be paid. Also released this week is the Lunar Manifesto Volume 1 by Grand Void. It is a pseudo setting that works expanding Moon Elves by Mike. It brings plenty of political parties that compose the convoluted politics of Lunar Society. It is another entry for RPG Latam Jam 2022. And this time around it brings 8 to 9 political parties or factions that take care of the Lunar Society. This utopia made by elves and humans that took residence in, on the moon and communicate with the great trees and that try to make, make the best of this lunar place with the great trees that were always there. Also, live this week is the pre-order of physical copies and also the immediate availability of digital ones for characters too dot 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 or if you prefer characters to play with write with fight with friend with by bats it is a diceless set of rules for solving problems and answering questions uh, that got a lot of inspiration from the rules of three that was used in plenty of medias from uh, japanese anime and mangas Western movies, Western animations, and so on. So you have a lot of inspiration to get ideas from. But it is minimalist, but not freeform kind of game. So it may be an interesting way to bring people to the hobby as it focuses on the world itself and not on the rules. It was originally created to teach new players in its, as it's an easy way to get into role playing and play a make-believe game that we as kids tried so often. I mean, I believe that almost all kids tried to play make-believe and we got just like used to rules afterwards. So it's a great way to try and be introduced to the hobby, at least for me. I would also very much like to bring to your attention the Women in TTRPG bundle, celebrating Women's History Month, we have this bundle with over 50 titles by women from all over the world. The bundle has over 50 titles and from 50 different women for all from all over the world for 90% off and the value acquired will be split equally by everyone participating in it. It has some full games as well as some titles for plenty of different systems from solo to group ones and some of them are really amazing and you will also be benefiting a good cause that is making women that create games like more popular or, or that make it more people aware of the women that are in this hobby that we know that has a lot of problems. The hobby itself, not the women. Also, we already mentioned Death Gathering before, but now we want to bring to your attention the fight against capitalism, or at least this is what Eurizenic wants. It is a satire, of course, but it brings guidelines for creating your own peace wizards, 
some spells and adventure seeds and I do believe that we can benefit from this kind of satire uh, especially the indie scene because like Peace Wizards Against Capitalism is a pretty interesting idea to try and be a satire of the world that we are living in I, at least for my kind of view, okay? So just get a look at it and our articles and threads, an interesting read this week is the thread by Panates discussing horror on tabletop RPGs and actually games in general as well. Just to be perfectly candid, I am not I'm not saying that I agree with everything brought on this thread as with any subject in here as well, but it brings some interesting and important discussions and it is a discussion, not a discourse. Because I understand that plenty of people are trying to get away from Twitter uh, but and all of the environment that we have there. But I encourage you to just read the comments on this thread and the quotes of this particular thread because it brings some interesting subjects and some interesting points of view and informed ones about how horror can be played, horror has been played and has been developed into games. Okay, so for this week, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the video, share, subscribe, you know how internet works. You can pay me a coffee on coffee. you can buy my games and itch.io. Let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, what you are disliking about it. I always want to know and I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya!